Hello everyone, today is Saturday, October 13, 2012, and this is a quick update on the sealed lead acid battery plate desulfator circuit that was originally published by Frontier Springs. Um, here is the schematic diagram now in its finished form. R1 is still 470K, and R2 is now 24K. Um, what I found was that my on-time cycle was a little bit too long, causing the circuit to operate very inefficiently. And also, the other change that I've made to the circuit is uh, I've, add, I've changed the value of L1. L1 was originally specified as 220 microhenry. L1 now equals L2, and they are both 1,000 microhenries or 1 millihenry. You can state it either way. Last change that I made was I've added C7 across C4, which is a 0.33 microfarad polystyrene capacitor, and that lowers the high frequency impedance of the driver circuit so that it can send the highest possible current pulse into the battery. Next frame here is a, is a um, picture of the completed unit now with the uh, different value coils and the uh, different value R2, etc. This next frame is the actual waveform now of the output of the completed plate desulfator circuit. You'll notice I no longer have a voltage spike on the leading edge of the power MOSFET cycle, only on the trailing edge where you want it. And uh, it is a very high current peak, it is very, uh, it is very stable and it, um, it is uh, approximately a little over 200 nanoseconds long. This last frame is the expanded oscilloscope tray so that you can actually see the, uh, the length of the pulse being applied to the battery and this is actually measured directly at the battery terminals which is where you really should be measuring it. So that's all for now. Thank you for following along with this project. To repeat, I don't actually know if it's going to work, but if it does, man, that'll be great because I've got a lot of batteries that I can reclaim. And if not, I just chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. Anyway, thank you all for your donations. Uh, I, hope to, I hope you keep them coming. And uh, this afternoon, I'll be going down to the shed and pulling out, pulling out some old insulation, tearing out some, uh, some of the original framework and uh, measuring it up for the uh, fiberglass insulation that I want to put in as well as the, uh, the sheetrock that I'm going to need to uh, finish off the interior. Everybody take care. Peace.